Huh. Huh. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, hello, uh, hello again, uh, Colonel Farquhar here, Colonel Farquhar, and, uh, yes, uh, you may notice my attire is slightly different from the usual, but it's, uh, I have a good reason for it. I have a good reason for it. It could be fucking Donning Osmond for all I fucking care, and I'll go vacuum the walrus. Oh, excuse me for that interruption. Excuse me for that. You know, life generally sucks, but you have to laugh it off. You have to laugh it off. Unless, of course, you're, like, bleeding from an artery in your leg, and then you have to stick your thumb in it, scream bloody hell, and hope somebody comes and patches it up. But that's not what this video is all about. You see, uh, my, uh, my faithful native porter, Bartholomew, was, uh, feeling a bit punky, punky as it were, last time he visited the doctor. And uh, the, the, the good doctor recommended that he get some vitamin B12 shots. Yes, yeah, some vitamin B12 shots in there. Whatever this uh, stuff is here comes in this little container. I don't know if you can see the little container right there. Maybe, maybe not. It's, uh, God be blah 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 something like that. And, uh, uh, anyway, in order to in order to administer this, I mean, you could you could just put a pill under your tongue and let it dissolve, but I'd like to do it this way. Yes, this way, a nice large syringe, and stick it in his arm. Yes, I do. Yes, and that's what we're going to show you soon. So stand by as we get all the medical supplies out. And I will uh, fill the syringe with the uh, goblet of lumen balloon and uh, then go jam it in his arm. So stay tuned for uh, the upcoming episode here. Ah, oh, yes, here we are. Here we are. I'll hopefully, be able to see this still when I try that. I'll flip that over so I can see what I'm not doing. I'm getting in the way. Oh, not too bad. Not too yeah, the first, first thing you got to do here is get out the uh, Sinocoglobalum. Yeah, it comes in this nifty little container here. Yeah, that's, that's it, nifty little container. And we just pop the cap off of that. Place it on the countertop. Take a uh, alcohol wipe here, a little alcohol wipe, and just clean the hell out of that top, even though the thing is supposedly sterile and all that stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, like that. Like that. Very clean, I tell you. Very clean. And we'll get out our uh, syringe here and somehow pop this thing open. Oh, yeah. Dangerous, dangerous stuff here now. Absolutely dangerous. Uh, don't want to, don't want to poke yourself with that. Which makes me a little nervous. Bing. Pull that sucker off of there. Now let's see. The nurse said, pull back about half a cc or something and stick it in there. You have a little air. And withdraw the needle. And, uh, oh my God, I can't even see this. And withdraw the needle here. Come on. This ain't this ain't being any fun. Withdraw the needle. And try to suck all this stuff out of there. Ah, look at that. Look at that. We've got a, a one cc shot in there. And we'll carefully pick that up. Protect the needle. Uh, protect the needle. It's all filled up here. We have a, have a bit of air in the top, which we need to expunge, to expel. And we're going to just squeeze that up there. 
I'm going to squeeze it up there until it comes out the top. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's getting all the air out of that thing. Get a little tappy tappies and turn it over and a little tappy tappies. Looks all good. Looks all good to me. And that's how, that's how we dispense a 1cc dose of gamma monkeypox stuff. One milliliter. That's what it is. Yes. Ha! Take that. Take that, uh, Matty. Uh, there's your there's your Friday night one milliliter for you. Ha 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 Amazing how that works. <laughs> ah, get this here syringe full of stuff. Right? Right, Piggy? Oh, ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's all filled up there. I don't know how you're supposed to see blood in this. Red stuff. Ah, uh -huh, we need the we need the wiping off the. That's what I got thing. here. Okay. okay. All right, roll up your sleeve. Okay. Roll up your sleeve. That's yes, right. Have to. Uh, first, first things first is you have to find the uh, the ball joint up here in the uh, in the shoulder. You don't want to stick it in the ball joint. So we want to go down here and in this fleshy part of the muscle here and put in the injection right in there someplace. But uh, first, first you have to prepare the. Uh, Injection site with alcohol, yes. Definitely need to cleanse the injection site with some alcohol. Highly recommend it. <laughs> right, Bartholomew? Right. Yeah, right, boss. Right, boss. Uh, you gotta use, use a good thick Spanish accent. Right, right. boss. It's so, all right, boss. It's so, all right. All right. So we, we're gonna clean up the injection site with some alcohol. This time we're gonna use one of these. Prep pads. That's what they call them. Prep pads. Prep pads. Prep pads. And then we have see the injection needle here. And the nurse told me to swing away. Tip. And we is going to find a find a spot there and just stick it in like a dart. Injection, withdraw, all done. All done. You need a band aid? Yeah. Yeah? No band aid. Look at that. We saved 15 cents. Would it cost $59.95 in hospital? Just for a freaking band aid. Ladies? No. No. Yeah. No blood at all. All good. All done. All good, all done.